everybody. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie and this is my Crafty Den. And if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. And I am doing a diamond paint with me, which is otherwise known as a whip and chat. Um, work in progress while I chat. And uh, yeah, so I'm still working on the same painting I was doing last week. I did a little wee bit more of it, but then I went away for four days. And um, yeah, I can't believe it's, it's, this video goes up on Wednesdays, but it's Tuesday nights for me that I do this. And yeah, so I think this is C that I was doing. I've lost my train of thought. So yeah. I, um, if I get distracted, it's probably because I'm scratching. I went to the farm this, for a four, I went for a four day weekend actually, and, um, did some work on, I needed to do some work on some rabbit cages and, and move things around. And, um, so I kind of raise rabbits. My son looks after them for me when I'm not there. But um, I, I can't do it here because I'm in town and it's against our town ordinance. But I can do it at his house and he allows that. And my granddaughter and my son take turns feeding them and watering them while I'm not there to look after them. But it's up to me to, um, you know, to figure out their housing and things like that. And I wanted to move them to some bigger cages. So... I was working on those cages and getting them ready. It's been, it was hot, hot, hot too, really hot. But so for about three days, I was just out in, in the sun and enjoying the fresh air and working on them. But what I didn't realize is the black flies were really bad again. They don't seem to have gone anywhere this summer for some reason. We haven't had any really hot, hot weather for extended lengths of time to kind of burn them off and put an end to them. So, yeah, I got really chewed up, guys, um, all around my feet and my ankles and my the bottom of my legs. And, yeah, really chewed up. It's terrible. So it's really, really itchy. And... It's distracting. When something itches that bad, it's distracting. So that's pretty much my whole week, working on the rabbit cages and getting chewed up by bugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's all I have to talk about this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. See you next week, guys. But yeah, I do want to get, uh, I do want to work on this painting though. And um, I'll think of something to talk about, I guess. But I, I do love this hour that's designated to diamond painting and doing this. It's a little bit earlier this week than it was last week. Last week, I didn't start this until about, oh, I guess it was. 10 30 it was yeah because it was about 11 30 by the time i was done and i know i call it a midnight whipping shot but anything after nine o'clock at night feels like midnight to me and it is what time is it actually it is just about 7 30 but i think the sun and i got home yesterday afternoon and uh i think the sun and the heat from the last couple of days has been warmer than usual and I think that's just got to me it's made me tired but um and I didn't I got distracted doing stuff outside and didn't look after my self like I should I didn't drink enough fluids and ugh it takes such a little thing now that that I'm I just say now that I'm retired but at um, at my age I mean I'm only 66 guys so um I'll be 67 in a couple of months but even at my age it doesn't take much 
of neglecting yourself to cause a problem. So by the time I got home, my my feet were swollen from standing and working on the cages and uh, being out in the sun and the heat. And I didn't drink enough fluids. Yeah, so I started to retain water. And now I'm like this little swollen pumpkin and with these chubby little feet and chubby little toes. And I'm drinking all kinds of water, trying to rectify the situation. And they have gone down some, but yeah. Gosh, the things we do to ourselves, eh? It's just crazy. Just crazy. We wouldn't let our kids go out and stand in the sun for four or five hours on end and not take a drink with them. Because we'd look at them and we'd say, you have to drink if you're going to be out in the sun. And don't forget to put your hat on and wear your sunscreen. And yeah, but we don't do it ourselves. So I was bad and I'm paying the consequences. And, uh, yeah, because I didn't have my mom around yelling at me to tell me what to do. <laughs> I wish I did. Oh, gosh. So. I see a little block here coming up that I may be able to uh, to just block some of these to get them in quicker. But, um, yeah, and then, to top it off, they got a new horse at the farm. Oh, my gosh, he's so, he's such a darling, such a darling. Um, he's just a three-month-old quarter horse. And, um, oh, he's gorgeous, just gorgeous. But uh, he's so funny, He he's... First time, I mean, when they got him, he was taken from his mother, of course. So, oh, that's a little tiny one. Let's not put that one in there. Uh, anyway, he's um, he's a little bit scared of everything. And having a little bit of temper tantrums and stuff, a little bit high strung. So my daughter-in-law has been spending a lot of time with him. Well, he's really started to, to um, imprint on her almost. And it's kind of funny because she, if she runs around in the, the paddock, he chases her. Like, he follows her. So if she runs around the outside of the paddock, he'll follow her and run around the outside of the paddock. He's hilarious. But he is pretty. And uh, he's really friendly. At least he was to me. And... Um, I hope he stays like that. But they've got a long way to go to train him and a lot of work. A lot of work ahead of them to raise a horse. Yeah, it's not an easy task. So, not your normal pet. Definitely not your normal pet. Oh, so then the other bad thing was um, Chester, my little dog, he gets his bath on on Mondays usually. I didn't get home till Monday, so I gave him his bath this morning. But um, yeah, so he was tied out a little bit while we were there. And of course, there's other animals around and there's other stuff going on while we got home and he had um, fleas. I don't know whether he just picked them up in the grass or like what the heck. But the neighbor's dog kept coming over and we had to keep chasing at home. And it was over playing with mine while well, it was tied up at the front step a couple of times. So I don't know if he got them there or not. But so we had to do the whole bath thing this morning and I certainly hope I have them all but I just noticed he's still scratching so we may have to do a double a double this week and get some flea shampoo I only saw a couple 
like I gave him a bath and I saw a couple and then when I combed them I went through them really really good and I didn't see anything else but oh, so hard so hard so if you've got any tips for instantly getting rid of fleas as soon as you get them you guys let me know down below because my gosh it's I've struggled with it before and uh, it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing I hate it and I don't like the thoughts that he has it and he's really close with me like he's a lap dog guys he wants to get up and cuddle and snuggle and yeah no I haven't seen any jumping or anything like that I just saw the couple when we had his bath but boy oh boy it is so frustrating it seems like if it isn't one thing it's something else I have to get more um, skilled at doing some of the maintenance around the house here too because I got up this morning and I thought I didn't have much water pressure for the last few days and uh, so I called the plumber the guy we used to come and check out and see what it was and it was the filter in our water system and I don't know how you change it <laughs> Like, isn't that something that I should know how to do? Guys, I had to call a plumber to come and change the filter. Like, oh my gosh. And that, thank God that's all it was. But, yeah. And he's pretty reasonable, so he just charged me a service charge. And, and um, yeah, what is it called? A service call. They. But he uh, he cleaned everything out and replaced the filter for me and yeah. But but I still I think that's something that I should know how to do. Gosh, at least it sure feels like that. If you can hear that, what's up, Chester? Hey, what's up? there you can't sit on my knee when I'm doing this <laughs> but um he uh he I think he wants up on my knee and there's just no room for him to get up on my knee and do this I can't work around him yeah I'm sure that's what he wants he's got his front feet up here his little bed's right here beside me. If he wants to be close, he can just lay down in here beside my feet and he'll be good. But I think I need a little bit more of this. And let's go again. Yeah. So it came. I forgot. Yeah, it came. So I ordered a little bit of resin to see if I can make some of my own wax. So I'm going to try that soon. I've got the beeswax. I've got the resin. And I have... I'm going to try to make wax that's scented like my favorite scentsy wax melts yeah that's what I'm going to try to do guys see if it works I'll let you know if it does if it does I'll let you know for sure because I looked up online to see how do you make ordinary wax sticky right this stuff has to be sticky because ordinary wax isn't sticky like if I stick this um, placer into just some ordinary wax it doesn't stick to the diamonds I can't pick any gems or anything up with it 
so I, it has to be something that makes the wax sticky, right? So I looked it up and it said, oops, it, I looked it up and it said that you have to mix resin, which is tree sap, basically dried tree sap, in with your wax and melt it and there's a mixture that you make. So I'm going to try and see if I can make something that I like to use that is like just my specialty. Mm -hmm. I hate not knowing how to do stuff. <laughs> I just all my life I've been like that. If there's something that I use I have to try to be able to figure out how to make it myself. I've done that with my cleaning stuff and so most of my cleaning products that I use are whoops that's down below my that's down below my line my lines way up here so that's below my line too where is my line that's way up there let me see and I put that across so I know where my line is. There. Yeah, so you do, there's all kinds of things that you can make yourself. And um, over the years, I've made my own hand creams and salves and cleaning products and hair products I um I went through I went through a stage where I wouldn't use shampoo or anything on my hair it had to be natural stuff that I made myself and I got to say my hair was really looking good when I was doing that too It's really healthy for your hair not to use a, a lot of product on it I think the I'm getting to the point that the ones that are down this way are kind of scattered. I have my fan ceiling fan on. It's still a little bit hot in here. I shut my air conditioning off to do this because the air conditioners, it's too loud with the um, microphone. It picks up too much in the microphone. And uh, so I try not to have the air conditioner on when I'm filming. But it's gotten warm in here pretty quick. that ever happened to you guys I was just going along and then all of a sudden I just I couldn't find any <laughs> I know they're there I know I'm not done yet but I just went couldn't find any um, what do I do with this drill I think I'm almost done them I've got my camera turned sideways, but it should be, my painting should be like this. I, I do it that a lot, work on my painting with it turned sideways. So it should be like this. I really don't have the camera on the wrong, wrong angle, it's just me. <laughs> Maybe I am done. Hmm. Well, I'll put that color away and find another one. There's a lot of, this is that 
the background of this picture is a lot of these blues and greens and teals and they're such pretty colors though just such pretty colors so what should I do next um how about this one nine 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 three that's nine three nine 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 three right here oh, look at that it's almost like sea foam it's beautiful colors beautiful colors So, yeah, I just, I don't have a lot to talk about this week. I, um, I did, who watches The Walking Dead? Anybody else out there watch The Walking Dead? So, there's been all this hype and all this big long wait for the final season to start. So, there's, it's going to be two, two, two seasons, really. But it's, they're calling it one and they're going to divide it into two part one and part two and I think they've always done that though so I don't think this is any different but it's going to be extended so there'll be more episodes um I guess it's going to take them more episodes to tell the rest of the story but I was so geared up to watch it and then when I watched it I almost felt let down and I hate to say that, but um, I mean the episode is, the episode itself was really good. It was uh, it was good, and it ended up with some you know mystery again. They always end up every show ends up with a mystery of some sort. You're waiting to see what happened to this person or that person or whatever, and it ended up that way. I'm I'm not going to say anything just in case there's people that haven't watched it yet. I don't want any spoilers, but. Um, but yeah, I kind of felt let down, but I think it was myself that did it. I had myself so geared up for it that I think I was expecting more than what they could give. Um, overall, the episode was really good, though. So glad Maggie's back. I really missed her when she left. And I hated that she just left, like she hadn't been killed off or anything like that she just wasn't there all of a sudden so they just started a new season and maggie was gone somewhere else and i didn't like that at all i wanted maggie back and of course i'm a huge carol and daryl fan but that's enough of that everybody is so <laughs> if you watch it it is. You're a big Carol and Daryl fan. But yeah, I um, I was watching TV this afternoon and I just watched, um, I'm not much of a TV person. Like I don't watch very much stuff that's actually on TV, but I'll watch Netflix and YouTube. But um, I just watched the Rocket Man. It's on Netflix now. So if you're an Elton John fan, or a music fan in general um, of that genre, then you should watch Rocket Man. I I'm really happy that um, Elton Phil, you know, straightened out his life because he wouldn't e even be with us now if he hadn't. But um, yeah, he was on a a bad path. A bad path. You did not need him joining that 27 club. That's for sure. But yeah, I do. I love Elton, Elton John's music. But I had I didn't know that he didn't 
For some reason, I always thought he wrote his own music. I had no idea that um, he had a songwriter that he worked with. So I'm assuming from the, the uh, movie that some of the lyrics were his because they kind of pertain to his life or he had help writing them, maybe, because he did at one point say that the lyrics were what came hard to him. But yeah, you'll have to go watch it. It's It's a really really different type of portrayal because it's a musical it's about music um but it's a different kind of portrayal for sure and i had no idea that I mean, my husband probably think I'm silly because my husband is a musician, so he knows a lot more about um, other entertainers and stuff. But um, I, <laughs> I knew Elton John wasn't his real name, but I didn't know how he got his name, and he just picked his um, he just picked his last name from looking at a picture of John Lennon. So he chose John as his last name because of John Lennon. I think that was just really funny too. I didn't know that. A million people probably did, but um, and I don't think there's any spoilers. If you're an Elton John fan, there's lots of things that you probably know about him. So I love, I love watching um, movies that are portrayals of people's lives. And the one thing that I was happy to learn was that he likes to shop because that's the only thing we have in common. I like to shop too. <laughs> uh, so, gosh, I love this color. It's so pretty. I'd like a summer dress this color. I think that would be nice. I still haven't got my haul filmed. I gotta do that. I have a trip coming up. It's not a long trip. I'm driving to Ontario and back. I'm just going to do it in one week. I'm just going out and staying for a couple of days and coming right back. Um, but I'm going out to pick up my granddaughter. So she's done working for the summer. Um, I've been wanting to have her out to have a visit with her. And... She's signed up for it. She's, she's taking a year from... She finished high school, grade 12, um, last June. And she was thinking about going to college, but she wants to take her... I forget what you call them. Um, in my day, it would have been grade 13 classes. Um any of you guys that are, you know, know what, what I'm, know what she's talking about, know what she has to do. What am I even trying to say? Um, <laughs> she has to take some extra courses because that gives her more options when she goes to college. Is That's the only thing that I know because I can't remember what the courses are called that she has to take. So there you go, guys. <laughs> anyway, she's she's doing it all online. Uh, because there is no grade 13 and anymore. And um, so she's doing it online. And she should have all of her stuff set 
up this week. And she can do it here just as well as she can do it there. So she's uh, said that she'll come out and stay with me for a month if I come get her. Ooh, I'm going on plastic again. Yeah, so I'm going to go get her. And that'll help give me company for a month. My husband doesn't come home till a couple of days before Halloween. Yeah, that's a long time he's been away. So I'll be glad when this next four years is done. Oh my gosh. I don't want it to go by too fast because I don't want to lose those four years. But I'll be glad when they're over because then he doesn't have to go away every summer. Spring, summer, and fall, really. But yeah, he's only home for the winter, which sucks. It really sucks. Uh huh. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. She's um. She's quite something, my granddaughter. She's so multi-talented. She's a wonderful artist. She can draw like crazy. She sings. She's got a wonderful voice. Um, she's just beautiful. Beautiful, talented. And yeah, she's coming to stay with me. Yay! So, um, yeah, I'm so excited that she's coming. So we'll probably do some diamond painting. I'll probably give her a diamond painting to work on while she's here. So when I do my um, whipping chats, I'll actually have somebody in the room for a few of them to chat with. Which will be kind of cool. If I can get her to figure out how to do it, maybe I can do a... It would be really cool if I could get her to help me figure out how to do a live... Um, a live whip and chat. That would be really neat. I think it would be cool anyway. <laughs> then I wouldn't have to do it on Tuesday night. I could actually go on at 8 on Wednesday and, and do it live. That would be really cool. That would be fun. The more I think about it, I think it would really be fun. So what else did I do this week? It took me, I was so busy with the uh, animals that I really didn't get to do a lot this week, even in the way of videos. And um, I've got projects that I want to work on. My gosh, guys, I'm falling behind. There aren't enough days in the week for me to do everything that I want to do and not wear myself out. That's the big thing. If I wear myself out, then I'm down for the count and I have to recover before I can get back into the swing of things. That's how fibro works. So I can't, I can't do that. I really pushed it this week with the swollen ankles and, and hands and yeah, everything swelled up. It's just, I just started retaining water terribly. And that's what happens if it's really, really hot and you don't drink anything. It scares your body and then your body retains the fluid. And that's no good. And the bug bites. What else? Oh, it's, yeah, it's been a hell of a week. It's been a hell of a week. I can't.
can't do stuff like that to myself. So I hope all you guys are taking better care of yourselves than I've been doing me. So I, um, I know that I have a few ladies that do this with me that have, I don't know if they have fibro or um, different, there's a few of these invisible syndromes diseases that um, that kind of react the same way and if you let yourself go don't look after yourself and then the uh, the disease gets a hold of you and it can kind of take you down for a little while I was just about there I'm exhausted today just exhausted and I haven't done much I think I did a load of laundry and my dishes and gave my dog a bath. That's all I've done today. Yeah. I even cooked light so that I didn't have to be on my feet for very long to do it. And I'm hoping it doesn't take more than a couple of days for the... Uh, for the swelling to go down or I'm going to have to go to see a doctor and I don't want to do that. I don't have anything against them. I just don't want to admit that I did it to myself. <laughs> and go to a doctor and tell them what you did, how big of an idiot you are. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> So is there any, does, it, does that happen to anybody else that if you don't drink enough and, and uh, your feet swell and, and your ankles swell and what have you? I mean, mine were beyond swollen. They, um, they just look like little balloons. But um, is there any remedy for it that you guys know of that's natural? I know if you drink a lot of water and keep your feet up, they say, and, um, you know, no salt. I had zero, zero salt today. And I think that may have been a little bit of what the problem was, too. My daughter-in-law is such an amazing cook. Such an amazing cook. And everything is coming, like, they've everything that she's cooking right now is whole foods. Out of their garden, fresh vegetables, and um, even the berries they've been picking, and the meat that they raised. They're, like, we, we had their beef, and yeah, so, you know, just tremendously healthy food. But she's just a little heavier on the salt than I would be for myself. And, um, although it does make it taste awful good. I love, I, I love my salt. I just, I know I'm not supposed to have it. <laughs> uh-huh. I need some wax. Need some wax. But yeah, yeah, oh gosh. I ate good while I was there. I'll tell you guys. And she cooks these amazing meals, which is really remarkable considering her con whole kitchen is under construction and she seems to be able to put food together around it. Doesn't matter. I did eat a little bit of gluten-free, though, because, um, yeah, she's gluten intolerant. So a couple, of, uh, a couple of the meals we had were, I mean, she gets to eat too, right? So some of the meals that she cooks, she'll just do completely gluten-free meals because that's, she feeds it to the whole family. And um, it's still really good. So, it's just, everything's perfect except the little extra salt. 
and nobody made me eat it. <laughs> it was just good, guys. Um, Yeah, she treats me pretty good, that girl does, I gotta tell ya. Got to tell ya, she treats me pretty good. I think that's all the C's, guys. That's all that color. So maybe I'll do these ones around the outside edge here now. And what are they? I could do the P's. That's number 931. Another blue color, but a darker blue. Ooh. This is almost that, um, it's like a deep, look at that color, guys. Isn't that pretty? It's almost like a maritime blue. That's gorgeous. Loving these. I did, I do, I just love these blue colors. I wish there was names or you could figure out how to get this in a paint color because this paint color right here, I would do a lot of crafts in for my kitchen area because I like doing a lot of um, coastal farmhouse and that's what this blue reminds me of. Gosh, it's pretty. So, before I go, I'm going to ask again, what are you guys working on? Let me know in the comments, guys. And do you like round drills or square drills? What's your preference? I like them both for different reasons. I think I've said that before. I love doing round drills because of the ease of doing them. I mean, you just pick your drill up and you plop it down. You don't have to straighten it and make sure that it's straight in the box um, like you do with the square drills. But I love the square drills for the finished product. Mm -hmm. Yes, a completely done painting with square drills. The coverage is just so much better. So your picture quality is better. And I think with square drills, they need to be... Um, they really need to be larger paintings the definition in the picture has to be really good with them there's a little more forgiveness with these because the background the little bits of color in between the round drills in the background shows which helps define the picture a little bit more in a round drill i think so the picture quality has to be really good for a square drill But as far as overall artwork, I prefer square drills if I'm going to put something up in my, say, my living room or um, something like that. Now, these are going to go in my craft room, and they are so cute that I don't mind that there's not as much definition. And, like, these little dolls don't have anything but eyes, right? Like, there's not a lot... Not a, not a lot of facial features in these little dolls. Like, come on, guys. You can't get any more defined than two dots for the eyes. Um, 
so you're really not losing anything in the round drills on these pictures. And the background is just a mixture of color. It's just all these blues and greens. So round drills are perfect for this and because it makes it so easy. So what do you prefer, round, round or square drills? Some people say that the square drills are hard and I don't find that they're hard. I'm just a little more time consuming because you have to be a little more careful. Whoops, I dropped it. There. I dropped it, it turned upside down, I couldn't pick it back up again. Yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yes, doing this early tonight so that I can I'm going to have a shower and go to bed early tonight. And take a big glass of water to bed with me. Because I've only drank about three, maybe four liters of water today. Uh, There's a few going around this little bit of a shadow around her hair in this color too. Oh, there's another one. I missed one. I thought I was done, but I'm not. There, is that all of those ones? Do you see any guys? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. So, and I can probably do, there's just a few of these little H's up here. So, yeah, I may as well do them and get them out of the way. 451. Oh, that was, these are the ones that I made the note of over on this side. On, on on the other side of this painting at the top, I made a notation because these brown ones look out of place, but that's what the color is. And they're over here as well. So that must be what they want there. They wouldn't have duplicated it on this side if they don't want them in there. They're kind of a taupey brown color. And there's only a few. Only a few. There. See, I said there's only a few. What was that? Five of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I missed that one up there, so I may as well grab it. Just one. I'm just going to stick that one in up there because it'll bother me if I don't. And then I'll move on to the next color. 
which is all of this, which is T, which is 927. This color kind of reminds me of a cloudy sky, kind of a gray. I gotta change pants, guys. My um, my hand is hurting with that one. I'm just gonna take this one. It's got a soft grip here. There. So that's just a little um a little tip. If your hand starts to get sore when you're doing your diamond painting, sometimes I've taken the tips off of see these little gold tips right here. So I've taken the tips off of the pink pens that come with your kits and just used a little bit of crazy glue to glue it into a broken pan. This is just an old advertising pan. And um, it, I have them in three or four different, like the shaft themselves is different sizes. So I've done that to three or four different pens that are different sizes. And the reason I did it was because if your hand gets sore and you switch pens, you've got a different sized pen. It changes your grip a little bit. So it allows you to hold it a little bit differently. And it helps your hand to rest. At least it does with me. So that's the tip of the night. Um, yeah, different sized pens will help you rest your hand. It doesn't get quite as sore. And that's how I do it. That's how I do it with um, fibromyalgia and arthritis. That's I have to kind of make things work. To allow me to do it and yeah yeah so don't ever say don't you can't do something but you, I mean the doctors say don't do the same thing for a long time because that's when you'll get sore and that's when you can cause some damage and I just have to find ways around it because I'm not ready to stop doing things yet guys I'm not ready to stop It's too boring stopping. I have to have lots of things to do. I guess I could pick a drill up. That would help. <laughs> uh huh. So how's everybody doing as far as the COVID goes? Um, I hope it, things are staying safe in your areas because I'm hearing a lot on the news about the variants and numbers picking up. And I know we got, we opened up here just crazy. So Canada opened up its borders to the States. And because there's so many people from Canada that are living in the States and couldn't come home to see family. It's just terrible ripping families apart and not letting families um, see each other. <sighs> like, it's terrible. It just really is terrible. And 
So we we went to um, in, I'm in New Brunswick in Canada. So we went to um, Green. We we stopped all of our restrictions and went to completely green. And so we can do what we want. We don't have to wear masks. They're not mandatory anymore. They're still asking everybody to get their vaccines. If you haven't had your vaccines, please make an appointment and get your vaccine because that's really helping. But as soon as we went to green, there was a, an outbreak around Moncton. And we've got, I think the last I heard, we had like 100 people, over 100 people in the hospital again. And we were down to zero people and zero new cases for, you know, like a, a long time. And um, and the numbers went back up so fast, but it all happened in one cluster. Like it all started from one cluster. It wasn't that they didn't know where it came from. It could be traced. So I know that they say if it can be traced, then it's fairly safe. You know, they, they can protect everybody else from it. And those people that have been in contact with with anybody in that cluster can um you know quarantine and take all the precautions well it's still scary so i'm still wearing my mask when i go out i've had my vaccines both of them um i'm still not taking any chances because i know you can still get it i just don't want it i don't care if having the vac vaccinations says that you won't get as sick when you get it. I don't want it. And uh, <laughs> I just, I don't want it. And I, um, I see, I go into the stores and I see it's probably about 50-50 when I'm out. I don't go into a ton of stores, mind you. And um, I have a list with me, so I'm not just... I'm not just in there um, window shopping or browsing. I'm, I haven't done that yet. I said I was going to do that this week. I was going to go to some of the thrift stores and stuff and, and just browse through and see what they had. But I'm thinking it may be a little bit too soon still for that because I don't think the thrift stores are going to have a lot of stuff yet. I know that through the whole COVID that they weren't taking donations. So to jump right back in as soon as the restrictions are lifted and, and start going and expecting them to have stuff is I think going to be um, a little bit premature. I think if I wait a little bit, the pickings might be a little bit better. People will have a chance to get those items that they've been collecting for donating and actually get them in there and get them donated. And I know exactly what I'm looking for. And I couldn't find them, you know, last fall when they stopped taking the donations. So I don't know that I'll have any more luck this soon. If you, I mean, if you can even understand what I mean, but, um, but anyway, I'm just going to wait on it a little while, but so we opened the borders and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's scary to have the border open and at the same time. It's good for the people that need it to be open. Yeah. I kind of, I'm kind of torn. I kind of wanted it to stay closed, but, and at the same time feel bad for people that can't get through. You can't have it both ways, I guess, can ya? I'm going to start calling these drills plaid. I, I put one down and it looks like a bluish green. And I put one down and it looks gray. And I put one down and it looks... These kind of... You turn them like this. And they kind of are different colors. So I'm going to call them plaid. I 
I can tell I've been sitting here for a while. How long have I been sitting here? Well, I've been sitting here for an hour. That's why I'm starting to get a little bit sore. Mm -hmm. I started to feel it. And you, I start to feel it in my neck. And it's time to, uh, time to put an end to it and get up and stretch and do something else. An hour is enough for most of us. Eh? I want to finish this, but I don't think I'm going to because that's quite a big chunk to do still. And it'll take me a little bit of time. So I think I am going to end it here, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight and listening to me babble away. I don't think I said anything intelligent the whole time. So... Yeah, that's just what it is, I guess. I um I haven't watched news for 5 days. So I don't know what's happening in the world. I guess I should uh when I get up in the morning maybe put the news on for a little while and watch it. And try to get caught up maybe it doesn't seem as important when you're when I'm out on the farm and doing stuff all the other stuff kind of doesn't seem that important because you just you're busy you're busy doing stuff that needs to be done and um, looking after animals is a commitment so you want to give them their best life when you've got them. So they need the best care. And they need people to spend time with them. They don't just need to be watered and fed and left. You need to spend some time with your animals too. Yeah. I'd prefer it if I didn't come home with a flea. But... We don't know where that came from yet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you guys take care. I'm I'm gonna stop. You guys take care and be safe. Please be safe. I I've already heard of too many people that I know through YouTube and Facebook and things I've I've just known too too many people that have got sick and too many people that have had tragic endings to being sick which is a horrible thing and I don't want to hear about any more I just don't so all you guys are really important to me um your comments make me feel like I know you and yeah so please be safe and take care and until the next video Bye-bye for now, guys.